So guys, in this video, I will show you how you can make some pretty decent money using the new bail enforcement office. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, out of all of the businesses in GTA Online, I would probably say that the bail enforcement office is probably one of the worst in terms of making you guys some money. And throughout the rest of this video, I will just show you guys all of the different ways it can make you money. And then you really have a choice if you want to purchase this for yourself. So without wasting any more time, let's dive into this method. First things first, we need to purchase the bail enforcement office. So if you head over to the Maze Bank Foreclosures website, you will see this new icon now currently there is four of them in the city and one all the way over in Polito Bay. The best value for money one is probably this one in Davis. This is the cheapest one located in the city at just two million dollars without any bonuses. To talk about some upgrades for this bail enforcement office, you can get these two agents and each one of these agents will cost you $750,000. Now I have tried these agents and seen how much I can make from them and let me just say this guys it is very slow. Now of course because they they do make you some money you will eventually over time make the seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars back but if you guys buy two of them you will have to make the one and a half million dollars but this is possible it will just take a long long time you can also get yourself a personal quarters to set your spawn location here along with a gun locker to customize your weapon loadout and finally armor plating for the bail enforcement van now the armor plating is probably not even that useful i would probably only get this if you guys play in a public lobby or something but even even then it is still a pretty cool option but now guys the first way that you can make money is through the bail enforcement safe the only way to fill this safe up is to send these agents off now in my time playing this dlc with the bail enforcement office both of these agents have made me just over one hundred thousand dollars every time they return i just send them straight away to do another mission or whatever they do and i would suggest that you guys do the same thing if you also have these two agents because if they are just sat there doing nothing then you guys are not making any money for your safe and also remember there is some career challenges i believe it is the tier 4 reward where you guys need to make a ridiculous amount just from using these agents alone so i would definitely start doing this straight away and every time you guys see them here or you get a notification that they have returned just send them off again the first ever time that i sent my agents off and they returned they made me about sixteen thousand dollars which honestly is not great if you really think about it but this eventually will add up and you don't really need to pay anything to to send them off and just remember this will just add more money in your pocket over time and the last thing to talk about the save is the capacity of this you can only have up to one hundred thousand dollars so definitely something to keep in mind when doing this but now the main way that you guys can make money from the bail enforcement office is over on the business computer so once you guys log on to this computer you will have up to four targets the target on the right is a daily target and it will refresh every single day it will also pay out the highest reward which I believe is between $120,000 and $130,000. And for the three other targets, you guys can see the payout for them. They are substantially less, and each one of these targets will refresh every single hour, which honestly is quite a long time, especially for the payout that you guys get. Just keep in mind, the payphone hits in GTA Online pay out nearly the same as the bounty target on the far right, and the payphone hits do refresh, I believe, every 48 minutes. So you can already see that this might not be a great moneymaker, Luckily enough, you guys can actually just play through the first bounty and then start the next bounty straight after this with no cooldown. For the most wanted bounty target, these are more like missions. You cannot do them in a free mode lobby and instead it will sort of launch a job. These are definitely more specialized and I would definitely say that they are more fun to complete. But of course, the main glaring downside of these most wanted targets is that you can only do one of them every single day. Before you guys even start any of these bounties, if you do have the two agents or even just one agent i would highly recommend that you send them off to complete one of their bail enforcement missions like i said before i would just send them off as soon as you guys can this will just add to the efficiency of making money with the bail enforcement office i just captured the most wanted target and you will see that i do not currently get any payout i only got this twenty-five thousand dollars for completing a career reward and to quickly go over these career rewards they are honestly pretty good they will take you guys quite some time to complete all 
of them. I mean, if we just look at the tier four of rewards, you will first of all have to unlock 10 platinum awards for the bottom dollar bounties, secure all bounty targets alive, earn $1 million in additional income from your bail office agents, which is probably the hardest one to do, and then earn $5 million from securing or eliminating bounty targets. So if you guys really wanted to complete all of these career rewards, it will probably take you maybe one week, maybe less. It really just depends how often you guys play. Also keep in mind, if you guys play on the old gen consoles, you will not be able to do any of these career rewards. For some reason, Rockstar thought it was funny to not add this on old gen, which is such a shame because the rewards are honestly really nice. The tier four reward is this vehicle. I really hope that we can use this for the targets because currently guys, I really do not like the van that you have to use. To quickly talk to you guys about the bounty hunter missions themselves, as in the standard bounty hunter missions, you can do these in free mode sessions and I actually think they are pretty fun. There's some new elements in the game. For example, I do remember doing one of the bounty targets and there was a different hack which required me to press my d-pad in different directions. I honestly thought that was pretty cool. It was nice to see a different feature. One last thing to clear up is when you guys get paid because you might have noticed after you deliver a bounty, you do not get any of the money. So what you guys have to do is just wait for these bounties to be processed. In my experience of playing this, it only takes about 10 minutes. And by the time you complete another bounty, for the most part, the other bounty inside the cell has just been processed. I honestly do not mind playing these bounty hunter missions. I do think they are pretty fun. Once again, in terms of making money, you can't really make millions very fast, but I still think this is a great thing to do. If you guys get bored, for example, of playing the Chaos Breaker heist over and over again. Also remember, you can just do this with another money method. For example, I would probably recommend the Acid Lab. Fill up the Acid Lab stock and then do all of these bounty hunter missions. And then in that one hour cooldown that you get, probably do the KO Prego heist or something. Like I always say in these money methods, the best possible way to make money in GTA is just to pair businesses together so that you guys are always making money. I honestly think that my favorite feature from this whole DLC is probably the new HSW vehicle. After doing some testing on this vehicle, it is either the second fastest or third fastest HSW vehicle already. And along with this, with it being a HSW car, the traction and handling on this is genuinely insane. So maybe if you guys wanted to try out some new things from this DLC, I would probably recommend this car. I believe it is only $1.8 million, which is not that bad for a car like this. However, the HSW upgrade cost is also $1.8 million. So definitely not on the cheaper side of things. I mean, if you really think about it, you guys could get this bail enforcement office for the same price with all of the upgrades. But yeah, guys, hopefully this helped you out in some way, shape or form. Make sure that you guys let me know in the comments down below if you guys have the bail enforcement office and also let me know what you guys think of this whole DLC. I still think that this DLC is better than the first dose missions that we got and even the last dose missions, I don't really like all of them. I think the only cool feature from that DLC was the virtue, if you guys remember that. But anyways, guys, if you went on to enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. I really appreciate your support. And if you guys are new here, subscribe and hit that bell icon to never miss a video. Finally, guys, stay safe. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Look at this fucking lame ass piece of shit. You get some good money for me, huh? Hey, asshole. Such a dick.